guys and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. So in today's video, we are going to be doing MLM Horror Stories number 75. I also wanted to mention something that I'm very excited for in December. I'm actually going to start uploading MLM interviews and it's essentially going to be me interviewing people who have been in MLMs because I feel like for a while I've been doing MLM Horror Stories and I'm still going to continue that, but I thought it would be really cool to hop on like one-on-one -on -one interview style calls with people and be able to post that here on my channel for you guys to see and instead of me reading a story, we could kind of interview people who have been in MLM. So if you want to get interviewed and if you've been in an MLM before and you want me to interview you and you want to be up on my channel, which I can still blur you out if you wanted that, I could also change how your uh, voice sounds if that's what you want to. So reach out to me. I would love to interview you. If you already have reached out to me because some people have from a previous MLM Horror Stories video, I will soon be emailing everyone and hopefully scheduling dates to interview you guys on. Just thought I would let you guys know and update you about that. But let's read our first MLM Horror Story. It says, hi, Deanna, my name is Kelsey. And this is gonna be a long one. <laughs> so grab your tea because I'm taking you back in time a bit. You see, I'm one of those rare butterflies that was never invited. I didn't know what an MLM was, but damn did I know about Beachbody. I had done Insanity in high school with my sister when she stole a copy from my aunt. I had woken up to dozens of infomercials with Shalene Johnson playing in my head, but anyway, you get it. It was summer 2015. I was a single mom with a two-year-old at the time and a whole 21 years old. 21 Day Fix was all the rage at the time and everywhere I looked were these chicks raving about their 30-minute workout. Me personally, I lived in the middle of nowhere where the closest Walmart was 45 minutes away. So going to the gym was a joke, but I didn't want to work out. So I ignored them. One day, this chick I was following on Instagram shared an income post. I'll never forget it. She was sitting on her bed with her daughter, who was also two, and she had these numbers above her head that said she was making $6,000 a month from her house just working out. Needless to say, I was sold. I went to the link in her bio that went right to Beachbody and bought the 21 day fix challenge pack. She never reached out to me. I did the 21 day fix four times, lost 30 pounds, felt amazing and decided, fuck it, I'm gonna coach. So I signed up. She still never reached out to me. That's really weird. So people can sign up with like your link for Beachbody and sign up as like a rep or they could even sign up as a customer but you always get an email and they get added into your back office thing. So you always see their name. Now. Now, sometimes with Beachbody, we have to also note this because I was in Beachbody, they sometimes don't get your contact info. So I had a couple times where like someone would sign up and Beachbody would like assign them to me. They didn't sign up through a link with me. Beachbody just assigned me the person and they put no contact on their thing. So that meant I didn't get access to any way to contact them. So they were kind of on their own unless they found my contact info. So I wonder if this person did that or not. About a month in, I emailed her being like, sup, how do I make money doing this? She told me to sign up as a coach. I told her I already was one under her. You can see this is off to a great start, right? Needless to say, she plugged me into all of her groups and that was that. I was a coach from 2015 to early 2017 when she left Beachbody for Prove It. Her upline I was then bumped into was one of those Jesus quoting teen call girls and I just couldn't, so I quit. And I know what you're thinking, it ends there, right? Wrong, so, so, so wrong. This is where the story gets good, Deanna. It is now December of 2017. I'm following this chick on IG who is grossly happy, hardcore highlight reel, and I'm not. I was fresh out of an abusive relationship, not the greatest headspace. I had gained all my weight back and then some. And I had been diagnosed with PCOS, told I'd never have more kids and losing weight would be impossible for me. So what did I do? I reached out to the happy gal on IG who also did Beachbody. I had no interest in coaching again. Before, I made no money at all with it. I signed up my stepmom, that was it, but I had loved the programs and they helped me stay active. I was still very clueless about MLMs, mind you, blissfully ignorant. So I signed up with her right before Christmas, put this stupid challenge pack with a three-day refresh on a credit card because that is what she required to join. $210 later, I'm in. Oh, did I mention she signed me back up as a coach for the discount? I love Energize and never did the math there. Insert eye roll. Nothing happened for a while. It was all pretty kosher. Her group was great, amazing people, a lot of which I consider friends still. I hit Emerald, go me. It was all pretty Gucci. <laughs> To be mindset came out, helped me lose even more weight, and I thought I had made it, you know? It all felt good. Super Saturday, summit of 2019, signed up a bit of customers and coaches. I was actually having fun. Ooh, we went to the same summit. 
Then it got juicy in the tea and freaking weird everywhere else. The spring of 2019, I moved across the country with a boyfriend and my daughter, and by the fall of 2019, it wasn't going well. So my daughter and I moved back to the East Coast. In the time span of me trying to find a job and get my daughter into daycare and school, the world shut the f down. We all know why. I was then told that I should use this opportunity to stop trying to find a job and work my business. Can you feel my eye rolls through the screen? You know what my dumbass did? I listened. Don't forget, blissfully ignorant. By fall of 2020, I was dating an amazing man. Still am. We found out we were pregnant. Remember when I said the doctor said no way? Yeah, we were shocked and excited. I had a little boy April of 2021. Congrats. But it was during my pregnancy that shit got weird in the MLM world. At that time, I found out I was pregnant. I was working on the side for my upline doing the behind the scenes work for her. I was checking into her team page to answer questions, checking into her challenge group to be supportive, that kind of thing. Legit signed into her Facebook page to do this and she'd pay me. So freaking weird. After a couple months, I told her I couldn't do it anymore because it felt weird congratulating her clients and coaches on succeeding when I didn't even know them. She didn't talk to me for months after that. After all that, I came across an account on Instagram sent to me by another coaching friend. Her IG is blank and she debunks fitness brands and supplements for not being clean products. You'd love her. But she did a post on MLM products like Beachbody, Arbonne, It Works, etc. I was shocked to say the least. The products, sorry if you could hear my husband in the background, he's playing video games. I don't think he knows I'm filming. <laughs> she said, I was shocked to say the least. The products that she had preached to me for years at this point about being some of the cleanest on the market were full with flavorings and gums that could actually be harmful as f And I was kind of just shocked. So I threw them all away, canceled my subscription because again, I'm pregnant and being told I should use Beachbody as a prenatal. Glad I didn't listen to that crap. Kind of at a loss on what to do because I'm like five months pregnant at this point and Beachbody is my only source of income. I decided to just share the workouts and to be mindset. It worked well for a few months and then I was in a push to diamond group that I paid $35 to be there. I had a one-on-one -on -one call with my upline and her friend where I was told I was missing out on a prime sale time because I wasn't telling people it was Beachbody that helped me get pregnant with my PCOS. Beachbody products that helped me. Cringe to the max. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. So one, that's disgusting. I hate in these freaking MLMs how MLM reps are told that things like their products, their MLM products are helping cure things like PCOS. No, it's not curing PCOS. It's not doing that. So these wellness companies I think are the worst. They're the worst. I feel like with fitness products, they try and utilize that the fitness product has like cured everything. Like it cures this, it cures that. It's like, no, that's not what's curing things for people. And a lot of the things that they say it cures isn't even curable. People are gonna live with that thing for the rest of their life. I'm sick of it. I know you guys probably are. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, we see this stuff all of the time where people claim that their MLM product has cured something. Well, we know that's not, that's not a thing. The other thing she said was she joined a push to diamond groups. I was personally in these groups too. So it would be a group where you'd have to pay to get in. So this chick paid $35. I don't think I've ever paid that much. I think I paid like 20 bucks when I went into one, but you pay $20 or whatever. You go into this group and then you'll get trained by like top reps that run the group. And it'll be like a lot of like your uplines upline. And that's kind of how you get the top reps. For example, my uplines upline is a top 10 Beachbody rep still to this day. So she would know other top reps and then they would collectively do this group where they would invite, you know, they would invite thousands of people in each other's downlines and then they would do like a push to diamond so you would be pushing to hit the diamond rank and everyone in that group would push for that rank within a certain time period and then if you hit that rank at the time period that they state you'll get like a pot of money so everyone who paid to get into that group that money will go into a pot that everyone will be distributed so or the winners will be able to distribute that. So you go in the group, you pay $35, say there's 100 people in the group. By the end of it, if five people hit diamond, five people will split all of that money that everyone put into the group. So that's an explanation on like what those groups are. If you're at all curious, because I know a lot of people don't know. Let's continue. So it says, I moved on from that group rather quickly. Wasted my $35, clearly. I had my little boy in April, like I said, and immediately felt the pressure to get back into the swing of things. Mind you, I had a C-section with my son and it took me months to be able to even go for a mile walk, let alone do some insane ass moves with 
bottom. During that time though, I was scrolling through YouTube videos on To Be Mindset, trying to find some motivation, and I found Kat instead. Love Kat. I found her review on To Be Mindset and realized that she was talking to me. Through her channel, I found you, and through you, I found the icing on the cake of toxic positivity pyramid schemes and overall bullshit. I left Beachbody two months ago for good this time, and now I finally have the time and energy to run my own photography business, which, by the way, has made me more in two months than I made in all of those years with Beachbody. So yeah, that's my story. I love that. So if you guys don't know, Kat is a dietitian and she does more so that kind of content. So she talks about like health and wellness. And through that, she talks about like MLMs that are fitness MLMs like Beachbody, Thrive, all of that. And she'll go into like their claims and she'll talk about their products and stuff like that. So she is someone that does a lot of education on stuff like that if you're curious about kind of a dietitian's perspective. So I am so happy that you found me through Kat. I'm happy that you found Kat. And I'm happy that you got the heck out of Beachbody because the fact that these reps were saying that like they cured your shit or something, that their products just like cured your PCOS, to me in and of itself is one of the worst things. But I really feel like with these MLMs, they are just so brainwashed. Like they truly are indoctrinated into a system and they believe every everything that happens in your life must be because of the MLM. So they will in their mind find ways to connect everything back to Beachbody. So for example, for this person being able to get pregnant, they automatically were like, oh, you got pregnant. Beachbody has good clean products. That's why you're that way. Or if you're happy or whatever it is, like if you're able to buy a new car, even if you bought your new car from the income from your actual job, they will somehow connect it to their MLM. And I have clearly found this with everything. I remember being in Beachbody and like connecting everything to it. And then I started realizing, what the fuck? No, everything is not connected to the MLM. So let's move on to the next one. This one says, Sensi fired her for this. Okay. Hi, Deanna. I hope you're having an amazing day. You don't have to keep me anonymous. When I asked my stepdaughter if she wanted to be kept anonymous, she said, F no. <laughs> I tried to warn my stepdaughter, Angelina, about MLMs when she signed up to sell Sensi in April of 2019. They charge $10 a month for the website so people can place orders, do parties, etc. Even though I am anti-MLM, having done various MLMs over 40 years, I would purchase from her. Her sister really likes Sensi and would do parties for her here and there. Last month, Angie decided to pack up most of her belongings and go cross-country in a van she inherited from her cousin. Things were going pretty good, and a couple of days ago, she kind of got stranded in Nebraska with a tornado coming. She didn't have the funds to pay for her website, so her sister gave her a prepaid visa to pay the lousy $10, and it wouldn't go through. Her sister and I were planning to put together a party so she could earn her way home. She doesn't like being bailed out. Last night, she said she was going to call Sensi and see if they could work with her. We all know that Sensi could have taken the prepaid card to pay for her website, but they told her it had to be a debit card tied to a bank account so that they could charge it every month and that she should ask her sister or me to just give them our debit card and we could dispute the charge next month with our bank. What? Fortunately, Angie wouldn't take advantage of us in this way and told them she wasn't willing to even ask. She again asked if they could just take the prepaid card through. They said absolutely not. Angie told them they were basically full of shit and they told her she could no longer sell Sensi. She has been faithfully paying for her website most months making zero sales. The party we were going to do probably would have been close to $500 of which she would have earned 125, which she could use to try and get home. I had a subscription with them where I would get wax every three months. I went in, canceled my subscription. They asked why and I told them. This morning I get an email saying they're sorry to see me go. If I had any questions, I can contact my consultant, Angie. Angie had made several contacts in her travels, giving out samples and business cards. On one hand, I feel bad for her, but I'm actually a little bit relieved. We are working on trying to get her home right now, but she might be stuck for a week or so, but she'll be fine. So much for owning your own business, right? I don't understand how they could turn down $500 in sales over a $10 fee. This is what's sad I feel like about MLMs is we could tell that this individual's in a tough spot. She doesn't have the money to get herself home with a tornado warning coming. And she's someone that is roped into a multi-level marketing company. And oh, it's just really sad for me to see this because I know with multi-level marketing companies, they go after people who 
may be in tough spots, may not have, you know, steady income, stay at home moms, like all of those things. And they'll try and depend on that MLM when they're going through a hard time. And the MLM will never come through, never. And I'm telling you that from experience of watching and reading and listening to hundreds of horror stories. I have never seen an MLM come through for someone struggling. What I've seen is MLMs use people's struggles to get them roped in, take all their money, take all their time, and then expect them to, you know, do what they do. And it's just sad. That's a really sad story. What do you guys think about that one? Next horror story, it says, Hey Deanna, please keep me anonymous if you decide to use this in your video. I'll try to keep this as short as possible, just like many others. 2020 was not a good year for me thanks to the pandemic. My husband was deployed, socializing was restricted, everywhere besides the necessary businesses were closed, so I was basically confined to my home alone for months. My mental health was at its worst and I was depressed, which is what led to a rapid weight gain. Five months into the pandemic, I finally decided I needed to reach out for help. Gyms were still closed at the time and personal trainers were not available either. So someone of the local military spouse pages recommended this particular fitness coach since she was solely online based. Yep, she was with Beachbody. I checked out her IG prior to reaching out to her and I was so drawn to her aesthetic, positivity, etc. By the way, I didn't know anything about MLMs until after my experience with her, so I missed all the signs. I worked with her for a few months and at the end of it all, I didn't lose anything but money. She basically checked in after I had initially agreed to sign up and when she did, it was always just, how are you doing? Or have you put in any consideration into coaching? That's it. When I finally told her I didn't want to coach, I never heard back from her again. Any questions I had for help were ignored, which eventually led me to switching to another coach. My experience sucked, but honestly, I think it's important to help others be aware of coaches like her too. Not just the pushy mean ones, because in my opinion, coaches like her can actually be the most dangerous for several reasons. This coach in particular is super sweet, nice, encouraging, positive, faith-based, and she even just had a baby. Sounds great, right? Well, that's just it. She uses all of this to her advantage, and if we aren't aware of what to look for, like I was prior to doing my research, she makes it really easy to get sucked in. Faith manipulation, the ability to be home with your baby, making time for the business without making any excuses since she does, and she is a new mom, how her connection with God has driven her to be better and to do better and more for her business, financial and time freedom, reassurance that she'll guide you every step of the way, challenges galore with limited spots. You get the idea, lol. I'm going to attach some screenshots to give you a better idea, but I highly recommend checking out her IG. Please blur her name and face. You got it. Oh, and side note, I later found out that she had recruited her neighbor, or my neighbor too, whose husband was deployed the same time as mine as well. And she actually suffers from a few health issues. I asked her how she joined Beachbody and she told me she basically the same way that I did. And just for the same reasons, neither of us had any idea how wild. Okay, let's look at some of these posts. First post says... Fit Girl Fall 21 Day Challenge for the women who need freedom and flexibility to have fun with her fitness but still want the results only a trainer can give. Join a group of hyped up women going all in on their fitness this month through live interactive energy filled fitness classes from the comfort of your own home. Every day there will be a list of classes you can sign up for with various super trainers who will guide you through your workout. Choose your style and time and set your calendar with these live home classes. The next slide says now enrolling, accepting eight new clients who need a little bit more structure and a lot more fun in their health and fitness. We know that whole thing is not a real thing. When they say I am only taking eight new clients, they're taking anyone who wants to be a client. Trust me. Okay, the next one says so blessed Lululemon shopping spree for my girls. Only treat them to the best. The next slide says fitness challenge, one year of workouts, weekly custom meal plans. They're not custom meal plans. 45 days of supplements. The next slide says we all said yes to this opportunity. So it's a photo of four people. And I think it's them after Lululemon. So it says we all said yes to this opportunity without knowing the outcome, knowing if we were fit enough or if we'd find our people. But we worked hard, dreamed big and made it happen. We work out and help others get results for a living. So spoiled, so blessed. The next slide says that for their programs, they include nutritional guidance and custom weekly meal plans, which should not be given, unlimited access to every workout program, which that is true, one-on-one coaching and accountability group, which Beachbody reps should not be coaches, 
Home and gym workouts, which yeah, that's true. 30 days of nutrient dense shakes of protein and pre-workout. You can get cheaper stuff elsewhere, but that's my opinion. The next one says, this time two years ago, I would have been reluctantly rushing to get ready saying goodbye to my husband as soon as he got home so I could go to work until 4 a.m. at a dive bar to help with bills. I'd sleep until afternoon, get schoolwork done, work my other job all day, and then do it all again feeling purposeless. If this was two years ago, I would be out of work right now not knowing how we'd pay the bills. But she then goes, but today I get to leave work to enjoy the weather with my boys in five years. I'll be able to take our kids to their first day of school and be there when they get home. I'll get to be there where the army takes their dad away for months at a time. I'll get to create the life I've dreamed of because my faith and hard work was stronger than my fear because I said yes to coaching. So this person has a full on highlight of coaching. I think I'm gonna have to react to this. I think I'm gonna have to put her whole story and react to it in a separate video. So that's a little bit of basis of what you guys can get ready for. But I think that's all we're gonna do for today. So that's going to be all for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to know what you guys think about all the MLM horror stories that we talked about today. And I will check you guys out in Monday's video.